Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redux, or Redo, sorry. Um, in the last part we started Iron Island, and we got to Iron Island and started it. Now we're gonna hopefully finish it in this part. So let's take on this Ace Trainer Double Battle. This Ace Trainer Double Battle might be hard because you know they're Ace Trainers, but we look, I like a good challenge, hopefully Riley does too. So yeah, oh and we also met Riley who has a Lucario that's level 34, and who is teaming up with us to get through the rest of Iron Islands, together. Because the Pokemon are restless, he said. Okay, um, if we battle here, uh, your Pokemon will become stronger, and so will mine. That's good. That's a good thing for both of us. We're not... T what's not to like? Let's throw down. The female Ace Trainer says. That's what the male Ace Trainer said. Uh, tough Pokemon, tough trainers. Tell me, uh, you tell me, where else can I find a place as good as this to train? What? Inferno is evolving? My, another Pokemon to reach its final evolution stage. Ah oh, man, it's a great day. I've been waiting a long time for Monferno and to evolve into Infernape. So way to go, Inferno. Way to evolve into Infernape. Awesome, and it also learned, I also uh, got rid of Mach Punch so it could learn um, Close Combat, because I was trying to learn Close Combat. So that's really cool. So that means that um, Inferno doesn't really need the experience share anymore, at least right now, <laughs> on it. Um, so they can give it back its fist plate. So it's all the way down here. You know, the thing with Diamond Pro and Platinum is there's no PC storage uh, where you can store items in the PC. So they had give it, gave you like infinite amount of space in the bag. So there's a lot to scroll down if you, uh, at this point of the game because you have so many items and whatnot. Yeah, okay, there we go. And... I'm gonna, um, put, well actually that makes sense to put, I'm doing it by level excluding Jetta, because Jetta's like the, you know, the the whole thing that's carrying us through Iron Island basically, but I want to give the experience share to, uh, Bronze, so give Bronze the experience share, I'll switch it with that instance for now, because Bronze is my most level Pokemon right now, at level 33. Okay, uh, there, okay, there's the Team Galactic there, but I want to do the other trainer battle that's over here, this fighting type, um, this uh, Battle Girl and Black Belt combination team duo. Yeah, whatever you want to say. Um, I'll pound the fear, I'll pound the fear of my fists into you, all karate style, punk. Aw oh, man, that's threatening me, man. Beating you would be my 100th straight win. Here's to a fun battle. Okay, we'll see about that if you get 101 wins. Man, that Metacham with the high jump kick, like one hit KO'd Riley Zucario. Jeez, that was powerful. And also, um, Bronze Grid level 34. I think this is the Magnet I was talking about. Yeah, there we go, Magnet. It raises the power of Electric type moves. I have no use for it because now my Pokemon can really learn any Electric type moves. Well, I guess Bron I looked up. I looked up on Cerebi, and it, Bronze can actually learn a uh, Charge Beam. I think by TM. It said. So yeah. So, and I'm here, but like for me, for the most part, 
I can't really use the magnet to my advantage because the ma I don't really have any electrotype moves, you know, on my Pokemon. Well, here's an iron plate, raises the power of iron, or not iron, but steel type moves. Yeah, th three beings were born to bind time and space. Interesting. Put the iron plate back in the item's pocket. Nice. So I think that was the last battle I wanted to do, but let me just double check real quick. Right, just to be sure. Let's put another pill on there first. No, I didn't mean to go to my medicine pocket. This D-pad on my GameCube controller is so small. So that I can actually, my thumb can accidentally click right or press right when I don't want it to go to the next pocket to the right. Which in that case was the medicine pocket. So um, let's take on Team Galactic then. I get it now, you're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic, or Grunt One says, We're Team Galactic, we'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? Grunt Two says, You said it, brother, so what's? So that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island. To share all in all the joy and all the sorrows. This that is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Steven. This is one battle we can't lose. We won't lose this battle. Let's just take it. Let's take the Mon Riley. They're going downtown. They have six Pokemon, we have seven basically, so ha, sucker. Okay. Let's take on Team Galactic and defeat them. They're going downtown. So I'm gonna suspect that Riley's gonna use, uh, Riley's Lucario is gonna use Force Palm on the Glamios because it's super effective. So I'm gonna use Ice Fang on the uh, Zubat because it's super effective. Let's see if I'm, let's see if I'm right because you have to kind of like be strategic with um, this because you don't know what moves you know Riley's gonna use first. Uh, what moves he's gonna tell his Lucario to use in battle. So yeah, the Zubat fainted because it was super effective on the Ice Fang. Kind of just one shot at it, one hit KO. Yeah, okay, let's. Uh, yeah, I was right. It's gonna use Force Palm. Hopefully, this should faint the Glamio. Let's see if it does though. Nice, it does. Okay. And Bronze Crusade gave some experience too. Nice. Okay, this Zubat again. What's the next Pokemon gonna be kind of coming out from the left side though? It's a Krogunk. Okay, so I'm gonna just assume that Railway's gonna tell Zucaro to use Bone Rusher on the Krogunk because it's super effective. And then I'm gonna use Ice Fang again on the Zubat then. So I'm going for a perfect um, battle here where I don't let uh, Railway's Lucario get hurt. Like, just like I did back in Veilstone City with the Dream Team with Dawn, how I went through the whole battle when her, she didn't get a single scratch on her Pokemon. Let's go, let's go. It's gonna use Bone Rush, right? As long as it doesn't miss, but it probably jinxed it there. Okay, Bronze and Jetty gave some more experience points there. I was right. Yes, Lucario did use Bone Rush on the Krogunk. And this should faint it, because it at least fits, it hits two to five times, and it should only hit twice to faint it. Nice. It only should only. I should, I should, I should say it only takes two hits to faint it, basically, because of what it did there. It only took two hits of the Bone Rush. So yeah, Bronze gives some more experience, okay. And of course, you did too. Okay, Gold Bat. Okay, that's a little step up from the two Z Bats previously. So let's other. So what's the second last Pokemon? Okay, so I'm gonna assume that Riley's gonna tell his Lucario to use Bone Rush on Skunk because it'll be super effective. So I'm gonna use uh, Ice Fang on Gold Bat and hopefully it'll faint it. It might not faint it though because Gold Bat has higher stats than Zubat, Bat, of course, because it's evolved Pokemon. It's the next stage Pokemon. Ah, uh, man. But let's hope that Golbat doesn't hit. No! There goes the perfect run for the battle. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Riley. Okay, oh, you can use Medical on the Golbat. Huh, that should faint the Golbat, yeah. Oh no, its stats are gonna raise up a little bit too. At least the attack stat, physical attack. So yeah, let's finish this battle. I can still make it to where this Lukoyo doesn't faint on my watch. Okay, Jetty Grid level 39 there. Oh, uh, Jetta wants to win Whirlpool. Yeah, I'm not gonna teach you Whirlpool. Whirlpool's then uh, not my cup of tea. So let's skip out on it. And Bronze gained some experience points. Awesome. 
I was gonna, oh, the skunky is skunk, uh, the skunky is skunk, the skunky is smoke screen on us. Now the now accuracy fell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the water pulse and hopefully, um, this will faint it. If not, hopefully, um, you know, Lucario is gonna use Bone Rush to finish it off. Yeah. Oh, I confused it. Nice. Yeah, Lucario might use Bone Rush to finish it off then. A Force Bomb that works too. This should faint it anyway. And there we go, nice. And that's all she wrote. Wait for Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. I feel like crying, this is so sad, aww. Uh, what a tough combination, I can't believe it. Thanks for the 2640 Poké Dollars, guys. Grunt 1 says, stop, st stop. I said stop, your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokémon. Let's beat it, partner. Grantu says, you said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic is Team Galactic's big plan is in, is anyway. Oh wow, they're the grunts they're the go the, the gooniest of the grunts, I should say. There's they're the I don't know. The gooniest works, I guess. Thanks, you really helped me out. Oh uh, listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Will you take it with you? Yes, why not? Thanks. I'll be I'll think I'll, I'd like you to show the Pokemon that's inside the egg all sorts of new places. Spending time with you was very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Well, let's, let's meet again. Take care on the way out. So that um egg will actually hatch into Ryoru, which is a pre evolved form of Rukario. Now, I won't be using this on my team, but uh, yeah, it's, it hatched at level 1. Because I plan on using what um, my final Pokemon, uh, a different final Pokemon, or a different Pokemon as my final team member. So yeah, um, the egg watch it will hatch. It what will hatch from this? It doesn't seem close to hatching. December nineteenth, two thousand sixteen is when I'm recording this, of course. A mysterious Pokemon egg received from Riley. Riley's in red text too. That's all it says, really. So yeah. So that's why I said you want to have an extra. Uh, spawn your party like an empty slot in your party for that Pokemon egg or you'd have to go back and make room for it and then come back I would wait for you but yeah you just wanted to do it on the first try just while you're here and stuff while you're on your way out he said so we went down the elevator went through this door and then we go up this elevator now it's very important for me especially to pick up this item because it's a shiny stone and that's us that's the evolution stone that help that will evolve my Roselia into Rose Raid and uh, Rosalia learns uh, Petal Dance at level 40, so 6 more levels, and then it can evolve. And then I think at like level 40 something, I put it the text overlay right now telling what level in the 40s. It'll learn Synthesis, but I'm not interested in Synthesis, so I'll just evolve it after it learns um, Petal Dance at level 40. So there's that. So you can go up here, nice, uh, out this door, and just hop over these edges, and you're back in front of the Iron Islands, okay. Cool. And I think there's still, this house is still empty, right? Yeah, for now. I think you get the metal coat from the person, the hiker, whoever is, lives in the house later on. Which will, the metal coat, if it's a held item to help evolve Onyx, if it's holding the metal coat while it's being traded, then it'll evolve into Steelix through a trade. So that's pretty cool. And again, with uh, same with if you trade a Scythe with, with it holding the metal coat above in a Seasal way. So let's go back to. Um, can't leave city, so we, we're gonna go on the boat, enjoy the boat ride back without it last like five seconds. Yeah, and here we're back at Can't leave city. Yeah, um, fell off, okay, good timing. <laughs> I forgot to mention this in the, the, uh, the last, last part, not the last part, but the part before that. I forgot to show this off. This is the, um, a hotel thing, or hotel, I don't, I'll have to read the sign, but the, it says the door is shut, tightly shut, it appears impossible to open. So this is the Harbor Inn, okay, the text is so faded to, it's too faded to read. Now this was, um, back in like 2009, I believe, right before Platinum was going to come out. Um, I think that's right around the time. Uh, before Platinum came out, I'm pretty sure. Um, there was this, uh, mystery guest gift event where you get this little, um, item. I'll play text over uh, telling you what that item is, but it's like a specific item to open this in or to 
get invited to this inn and take a dream and fall asleep in the bed and dream. And this was actually a um, way to get Dark Rai, which is pretty cool. Although that event has ended, and I can, don't think I can show it off even if it's on the emulator. I probably could with like um, a cheat or something, a cheat code or something. But I don't really want to go through the trouble of that because I don't want to mess up my save file for that actually messes it up or if I do it wrong or something like that. I'm, I'm paranoid, I don't know. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon there real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put the give the experience here to Rose actually. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah. Wait, let me see here. There's a steel type gym coming up. And after that is actually advancing the story and doing something else. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put the experience here. I'll give the experience here to, um, Rose. But first I have to give back the incense to, um, to, uh, Bronze. There we go. I forgot its name for a second. Switch the two items. And Rose will get the experience here. So there we go. And switch items with switch items with switch with the rose instance, yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Jetta to the um back. Cause it's level 39 for crying out loud. Yeah, um Yeah, I'll put Inferno I'll put Inferno to the front. Yeah. So yeah, this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part, and the next part will take on the Candlelight City Gym. And let's read the sign for once. I don't always read the sign in front of the gym, as you may have noticed throughout this Redux walkthrough guide. So yeah, I can't believe City Pokemon Gym Reader Byron. The man with the steel body. Yeah, it's a steel type gym. If it didn't already give it away, it's kind of obvious now. <laughs> so yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide part. And well, the next part, we'll do that. So thanks. I would like to thank you for watching. I would like to thank. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux or Redo Walkthrough Guide.